Police and gendarmes were still keeping a discreet distance from the jungle camp after overnight violence. But more than 1,000 reinforcements are expected on Monday when the evacuation is set to start. French teams from the Office of Immigration and Integration were touring the site, trying to estimate the size of the problem they face. Buses will be taking the refugees to hundreds of reception centres throughout France. I think the people who will get into the buses are those who have already applied for asylum in France, or those who are too tired and don't mind where they go. Maybe they will account for three or four thousand. There used to be 10,000 people in the camp, but 2,000 have left in the last fortnight. Some of the refugees still believe they can make it across the channel to the UK, but there'll be no hiding place when the riot police move in. Many we talked to were too afraid to show their faces. More people who go to another city, but uh, you return back in Gingil. Gingil is very bad, but you, go, you say his life is here is best than you say in, in, in another city. Special care is being taken to look after the unaccompanied children in the camp. It's thought there could be more than 600 of them here. They will be kept on site for processing and background checks. It's already been a long and desperate journey for the thousands of people in this Calais jungle camp. Their dispersal to 450 other centres throughout France is unlikely to deter them. They are drawn to the United Kingdom. They will continue with their journey. A last service was held on Sunday at the camp's Ethiopian church, which will also be demolished next week. The prayers for a safe and a more secure future. But a light of hope still burns that they can find a home in Britain.